Welcome to Ruler Lesson 1. Now, if you don't know what Ruler stands for, R, recognize, U, understand, L, label, E, express, R, regulate. And we have 20 lessons together, and this lesson is called Community Decision-Making and Emotional Climate. And because it's our first lesson together, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Anthony Salsuccioli. I'm a social studies teacher at Clarenceville High School. I've been in the district since 2001. You may know me as the head wrestling coach. However, I'm also a father, a husband, I'm a brother, a friend, and I have other roles in this life. And I'm also a human being with emotions, just like you are, trying to make the most out of life. And that's what Ruler is all about. It's the acknowledgement that every human being has emotions and emotions affect our lives greatly. And if you can buy into that, you can learn about Ruler with an open mind. And that's my hope for you to do so. And the question I'm going to start off with is, who are you? I just told you a little bit who I am. Who are you? Now, that seems like such an easy question, but in actuality, it's one of life's most challenging questions. Now, in terms of how you answered that question, you could have gone down you know, factual information road. It's fairly easy. If you were to ask me, who am I? I'd say, oh, my name's Anthony and I'm 48 years old and I work at Clarenceville High School. All stuff that the world knows. Now, you may have given yourself a description of yourself. Who are you? I'm a very shy person. I'm a very outgoing person. I'm a very silly person. You may have chosen that, or you may have focused in on what you really enjoy. For instance, you might say, I'm a volleyball player. I love volleyball. I can't get enough volleyball, that sort of thing. And I'm going to let you choose however you want to answer. That's your personal answer there. But I want to give you a little academic tidbit here of how important knowing yourself is. Western philosophy came from Athens, Greece. It's also a class I teach at the high school if you want to sign up in a couple of years. And they carved it in the stone. Know thyself because that's where philosophy begins and it ends. Know thyself and looking into this. Now, if you did answer with one of these adjectives in the rectangle, you might ask yourself, do you like that description of yourself? Some of you may, some of you may not. Now, some of you may look at these and go, oh my goodness, I have a different rectangle for every day. And that's fine. That's fair. And a lot of people are like that. Now, if one of these rectangles is who you consider yourself, here's the question. Do you like it? Would you like another description? By the way, in the bottom left here, we have the mood meter that you can chart now or throughout time. And I'll let you and or your teacher decide what you do with that. But you can chart your moods if, um, if you do so choose to. Now, here's a poem to reflect upon by John Donne. Yes, it's pronounced John Donne. And in his poem, he said, No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of of the main. And if you don't get this, because it's pretty old school, what he is saying is whatever we are, whoever we are, we're not isolated. We are connected to a lot of other things that affect who we are. And our interactions with those other people affect who they are. It's like a web if you can, you know, if you can envision that. We're all connected with other people. People are connected with us and we interact back and forth. Nobody's isolated unto themselves, if you get that. So let's talk about these communities, decision-making, and emotional climate. So let's say, for instance, this random clip art is you. You have all these different people you're connected with, again. And are your interactions positive? Are they negative? Are they neutral? Might be positive with this clip art and negative with this one and neutral with this one. But all of us are connected in this web of people that we interact with and the decisions they make, the decisions we make, affect those communities. They affect the emotional climate of those communities. And you are part of many groups, and we're different. Family. Some of you have um, siblings. Some of you are only children. I am the oldest. I have two siblings. That's different than being the youngest. Some people are raised by two parents, some with one parent. Some people really enjoy being with their families, other people less so. But we're all part of a family, but it affects us, our interactions with them. School. Do you like school? Have you been at school a long time? Is this your first year at this school? Have you been in this school district since you were in kindergarten? Do you value school? Do you not so much value school? Even though you're all in school, you perceive it quite differently and your interactions are really different. Religious affiliations. Some of you might be part of a broader group, part of um, a church or 
um, a youth group, that sort of thing, cultural affiliations based upon the cultures you come from. You might have certain holidays, certain events that are based upon that. And then most commonly the activities, the groups and the cliques, and they're quite different. If you call yourself a gamer, that's different than a football player. And a football player isn't the person who's involved with the theater. And the Boy Scout isn't the person who's involved with playing the clarinet. Or you might share a couple of those. But the groups we choose, the cliques we're in, the activities and those sorts of things, that affects who we are. And each of us are different. I'm not going to bore you with my dynamics. However, you know, you, I can go through all five of these just like you can. doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, how old you are. But I really want you to think about this. How are these dynamics in your life? Which brings us to the two assignments that your teacher is going to ask you to do. Okay, so I want you to think about the communities you are part of and be honest. Just be honest. What's the emotional climate of these groups so for example we'll start off with your immediate family how would you describe it what's the emotional climate of that place you might be part of a sports team you know is your coach chill are they really intense is it fun is it stressful i don't know what kind of friends do you have are your friends supportive do they put you down are they consistent are they inconsistent i don't know okay but the thing I want you to really think about are the decisions that you make that can affect this. So, for example, let's take your family. The decisions you make, will I be nice to my younger siblings or not? Will I take out the garbage and do the dishes like I was asked to? And will I try to bring peace or will I try to bring, you know, you know, some drama? I don't know. These are the decisions you have to look at. Your team. What decisions do you make? Showing up to practice, working as hard as you can, being a supportive teammate, helping out members of your team that might be struggling, that sort of thing. Your friends, how do you describe the emotional climate of your friends? Are they energetic? Are they fun? Are they serious? Are they driven? Are they, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so these are the things I'm going to ask you to do. So what we're going to be doing um, when I'm done talking here, uh, you're going to go through this okay and fill this out there's no wrong answers It's very personal and once you go through that chart there are two journal entries i'm going to ask you to write number one now that you've reflected a little bit let me ask you again who are you and let's see if you can answer that a little different than the beginning of class and then journal entry number two i want to interpret the following quote from howard zinn small acts when multiplied by millions of people can tr transform the world what decisions do you have power over to improve the larger community and emotional climate. Quick example, I know you're all part of the Clarenceville community. In the hallways, if you are hurtful and mean to a classmate, that's a choice you made. And it's gonna put the emotional climate toward the negative. Or you were kind and helpful to somebody, you just improved that. That was a choice you made. You had the choice to be kind or to not be kind. But think about that, if everybody made positive decisions what could happen to any community whether it's your sports team the school your family whatever okay so welcome to ruler i look forward to working with all of you and when this is all said and done i hope you learn a lot about yourself and that things can improve around clarenceville so thank you for watching